The Saints 2024 draft finishes the way it started. It started with Fuaga in the first round going offensive line, and they decided to finish it with another offensive tackle. Let's talk about the final pick of the 2024 draft class right here on the Straight Up Saints podcast. You're listening to the Straight Up Saints podcast. What is up, Houdan Nation? Welcome inside another video from the Straight Up Saints podcast. I'm your host, Chris Vosvoglu, and as always, we're brought to you by Scott Vicknair, Injury Lawyers, and Crystal. So the Saints, in the seventh round, decide to go with Josiah Azirum, Eastern Kentucky offensive tackle. Interesting pick. Um, in reality, I- I'm going to be just very transparent. I didn't do a lot of homework on Josiah Azirum before this pick was even announced, and then I decided to take a good amount of time, five, ten minutes, look into the background of what we're dealing with, and let's just get into the, the nitty-gritty here. This is a former defensive lineman turned offensive tackle. Now, I think you can classify this as a project. There's no doubt about that. But it's pretty interesting to see his career trajectory. Starts 10 games as a D lineman in 2019. Starts another nine games as a D lineman in 2020. Then makes the switch over to 2021. And it's not until 2022 where he gets eight starts. And then 2023, third team Associated Press, FCS, All-American. So that jump that he made is incredible. And I think what you can say about him right now, just from watching the brief tape that I got to look at, looks like a pretty good run blocker and does need work in pass blocking sets. But again, this is a seventh rounder. You're kind of taking him like hoping you can turn him into something big. And if not, again, it's a seventh round pick, seventh round undrafted. It's all kind of the same type of players in terms of the pool of talent that you're getting. So for the Saints, you might be banking on the jump that this kid made from 2019 to 2023. Is there another jump in there? Because remember, from 2019 to 2020, he's a defense alignment. So what you have is from 2021 to 2023. And during that span, here's what you have. Only five appearances, eight starts, FCS All-American. That's a really big jump. So I understand why the Saints are interested in him. And again, like I said, he looks to be a pretty good run blocker. So you put him in Clint Kubiak's offense that, again, primarily is going to do a good job of A, running the football, and B, getting their offense alignment out in space and letting them do damage. I think it's worth a shot. Um, And again, I was a big proponent on saying the Saints should draft at least two offensive linemen. So for them to close out the draft, taking another tackle, I'm all for it. I can't hate it. So it's going to be interesting to see. But just to wrap everything up, guys, we have the Saints adding to their roster. Obviously, Fuaga in the first round, Kool-Aid McKinstry in the second round. Then you get to the third round where it got very interesting because they added Rattler to their roster. They added uh, uh, Bud to to the roster. Again, he'll help out the receivers. Then you added Jalen Ford to the linebackers, Christian Boyd to the defensive tackle group, and now you round it out, taking Josiah Azirum. So that is your 2024 Saints class. I'll have a lot more coverage here at Boo Crew Media, whether it's live shows. Hopefully we get some interviews coming up in the next weeks, months, um, maybe with these prospects. We'll try to see if we get them on the show and see if we get their breakdown. But I want to thank you guys. If any of you listened to the videos, the live shows that we did over the last three days, I want to thank you for, for tuning in. If you guys left your comments, I also want to thank you for that. And before I go, just want to remind you, if you enjoyed any of the content that you've seen the last three days from Boo Crew Media, I advise you to subscribe to our channel and put on the notification bell so you get alerted when new videos like this drop. But that's going to wrap it up here. The Saints draft class is over. I think they did a pretty good job. I'll analyze it a little bit more in the coming days. But thank you guys for listening. Have a great rest of your weekend. And as always, stay tuned for more content here from the Straight Up Saints podcast, the destination for the Houdat Nation.